Fabulous flowers, luscious lawns, verdant veggie plots and backyards. What does your garden say about you? If it's crying out for an overhaul, or you simply need help to get started, then we're here to inspire you. We're happy. We've got a good start. We're happy, yeah. Is that a good shot for you? I'm Chris Beardshaw, passionate horticulturalist, landscape architect, and mad keen cyclist. I propagated my first seeds when I was four, and haven't looked back since. <laughs> Excuse me. It's that broad appreciation. <laughs> and I'm Colin Donaldson, builder, landscape gardener, <laughs> and mad keen biker. For me, it's always been about the property and the landscape working together. Okay, and if there's heavy machinery involved, then all the better. I'm trying to get a tune out of that. <laughs> bah. We're on a mission to help six families transform their gardens. <laughs> so let's get up and Bye. grow. David and Carol Fitzsimons and son Ben live in busy Bangor. When we first met the Fitzsimons, they had a typical 1970s concrete flag front garden. Which we really enjoyed destroying. But in fairness, we also enjoyed putting a new knot garden back that's much more in keeping with the arts and crafts style of the house. It's also full of flowers. Guys, something good's happened here. Mm -hmm. It certainly has, and all come out in bloom. So it's really sort of brought a bit of life back into the front. Yeah, yeah I think that's the word. It's, it's, it's alive. Mm. She's described it as genius, I think. I, I... I described it as genius, or you <laughs> described it as <laughs> I very often <laughs> refer to my own projects. <laughs> <laughs> I wait for compliments, and they very rarely arrive. Yeah. But I think also it's worth just highlighting the fact that this is, this is a very polite mm. response yes. to the challenges of a front garden. Yes. Nice. And, and that's, in a way, why it worked. But I think you can do something entirely different in the back. You can do something which is dramatic, you can do something which is really bold. So if this has got you hooked, then I think we can really push the boat out. The front garden is busy and noisy, but the back has a totally different feel. I think one of the interesting things about this space is just how secluded it feels and the difference between the front and the back. At the back, it's, it's just, it's quite nice here. I yeah. like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's tranquil, it's quiet. That was one of the things that led us to, to buy the house. Talk to me about the orientation. Where does the sun rise and where does the sun set? Sun rises in the morning over here and then from about one in the afternoon, this starts to really heat up. The wall in front of us here. The detail that you've just gone into shows that you, you followed the sun yeah. around, that you yeah. used the space. What about style? Stylistically, what, what do you want this space to look like? I think clean, modern lines is yeah. really that sort Very of the style so. of what we, we want. That, and reasonably yeah. minimalistic, but with a bit of texture and interest to it. What about flowers? Because all the plants yeah. that you've got in here, they're actually quite masculine plants. You're not, you're not oh, anchoring your garden. bachelor it's days. It's a beer garden. <laughs> <laughs> just wait till we get the tiki bar in and then we'll just be perfect. You know? Clear all that away, yeah. mm -hmm. and what we're left with is a big yeah. open space. Mm -hmm. Clean sheet of paper and sort of start from scratch and work out. What's the best design? OK, let's crack. <laughs> I've said too much. <laughs> it may be a courtyard garden, but there's still plenty of horticultural clutter to clear. That's not the most comfortable church pew, I don't think so. Just how many pots can one small family amass? I'm going to take somebody's eye out with that. Too. See, this is a nice garden. We should aim for something like this. Do you think? A couple of still does. You need a bit of paving in here, David. And then put those put those pots on top of it. It's I true. think. Yeah. Are you sure these have to go? Oh yes. David's courgette, Carol's vine, it's all going. Now is not a good point to say you liked it where it was. Yeah, okay. She's on that first movie, yeah. I'll carry your wedding train. <laughs> Always yeah, a bridesmaid. You said it, Chris. You don't know what to be do this, it may take some time. That's it, David. Show it who's the boss. <laughs> It's much yeah. easier to see what we have to play with yeah. now that it's all cleared. What are you thinking? If we can encourage them to adopt that twist so that you're using that diagonal across the, mm -hmm. the courtyard, I think that could be quite 
quite exciting. The design process here is quite straightforward. It's about linking the view from the house with the garage wall without making it look like a garage wall and trying to get the eye to turn around the corner and just maximise the space really because it's a very tight courtyard, just a few square metres. So what did you get? I mean, I am getting sort of wild and contemporary and formal and stylish. Any paving materials, mm. any furniture, it's got to be very contemporary mm -hmm. and very minimal. That would be the way I would go with it, yeah, to the, just clean up the lines. The you know? planting's an explosion of, of everything to, yeah. on the perimeter. So we've, I've chucked a couple of spanners into the works just to see, did they really want this simple, minimalist, structured look? I think it's got to have a very exotic feel and almost, it's almost got to have too much foliage in it. What we're ending up with is something which is radically different to what we were told was required. Bananas. Yeah, big you know, waxy, you know, yeah. heavy leaves. Yeah, I think we, we have to encourage them to use it as a, as a living mm. space. I think that is a good idea. However, it's a slow process and you just bring people along with you. Yeah, well, that's nice. And as part of taking them along with us, a visit to the garden centre to spark some ideas, good and bad. Is this on the shopping list? Is this the water feature we're thinking about? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a water it's a feature. feature. Wow, look at this. I feel as if it should rock. It's going to yes, roll. Yes, like a boat. I'd imagine as this was like if you were inside a Bushman's whiskey barrel. Do you like the, the rather sort of enclosed foliage feel of, of a space like this? Your eyes allowed to kind of drift yes. through. Let's keep looking. Find to be something here. It's been very interesting to discuss the back garden and mm. our thoughts and ideas yeah. because yeah. I think whilst we have a feel for the function and what we would like it to do, um, there's a huge amount we have to learn. I have no concept of planting and what would work and what wouldn't there. Lots of Blue pots, yes or nice. I like the green. Now this is a definition of twee. Look Colin, a mini me. <laughs> this is like stepping into Sweden in your back garden. She's got a fondue set and everything. Yes, but it's bigger than your courtyard, David. Oh, that, oh, that's really comfortable. This is working. Carol and David seem clear on what they like and what they don't like. It's a jungle, but there's space. You know what yeah, you're and saying? Yeah, and you just yeah. made it, you go. Yes, I'm down, I think I'm, yes. And, uh, so so we, Brand, we wanted to like, transplant this, the palm to house see anywhere. how you felt yes. about that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had a great day at the Gardening Ireland show. Um, it was a good opportunity to kind of look around and see. It gives lots of ideas. Back in the garden, time to take yeah. out the old raised bed. <laughs> Is the term sledgehammer to crack a nut relevant here? What are you doing in my garden? I like this place. So yeah. You put it back up. I'll move back. <laughs> Is your favourite bit, Colin? The destruction? Yeah. It is. <laughs> Colin can knock it down, he will. What have you got that's draining out of the kitchen? Uh, uh, washing machine and sink. That's not a washing machine. That's, you... that's the tumble dryer. No, no. It's the old oil line. Ah, oh, it's the old oil line. Yes, yeah. that's the old oil line. No dead body. Not yet. You trying to tell us something, David? Okay. Originally, the, the longest view in the courtyard was that. Uh huh. To that wall. Yeah. Yeah, whereas now you've got Whereas that. now, the longest view yeah. is actually a diagonal through there, mm -hmm. which means that it makes sense to, instead of going with a geometry which is that mm -hmm. way, to hit it on the angles. Yeah. It's actually much more interesting to look into a space where instead of hitting a dead end, especially a close dead end like that, yeah. the eye is encouraged to venture around. Oh, you want to go from one space to the other and yep. through it. Yep. What? <laughs> we were happy. We've got to get started. We're having a chat. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is design. <laughs> you, you, is, it, is there a skip to fill out there? Give me 300 off the corner of that wall on the ground. That's the 300 between the 200 and the 400. Do you want help with this or not? Because this is, this is a sunny part of the garden. I just think you, need, I need, think you need to sit here. Yeah. But it immediately oh. shifts the way you're using the yeah. garden around to go in diagonals. Yeah. I just said that. Yeah. I didn't hear him, I was, I was just I thinking, think but just that thinking about other things. <laughs> so much more concisely than I do, though, that's the thing. Without waving his arms around as well. Which <laughs> There's a, a pencil it. scribble on a bit of paper, on a scale plan. That's then transferred through onto the ground with the spray line. 
and that gives us an opportunity to literally walk the space and just see whether that paper copy, when transferred to reality, actually works. So if you can sight it through. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. Looks good, I think. You look lovely, Colin. Thanks. That's March. Yeah. Now, give us, now give us April. Maybe take my t-shirt off. <laughs> no, don't, don't. My garden gnome. Square back to that one. What do you think, Carol? I think it all looks very complicated. You know what would be worth doing? Is to get David <laughs> to bring two benches back out and put one in here and put another one over there. Just practice? Yeah, just practice Sit looking at one on another. I like what you've done, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. Pink lines, <laughs> breeze blocks, <laughs> and the old seat set. That looks well. Carl. Nice and safe. I was going to say, I'll take the one that's there. You can <laughs> shout at one another across yes, there. Yes, hello. Past. What will happen is you'll step out, and there'll be virtually no step between floor level right. in there ah, and right. floor level here. Yeah. All of this is on yeah. one level, yeah. and then you and sit then you down step onto a here. stone oh, surface right. there. Everything here is raised bed with planting away up here. Yes. Anything behind what we plant yes. is irrelevant. Yes. And you're enclosed in planting. I'm standing in the middle of a planting right. bed. Planting ah. comes to here. So this line is a raised bed running straight through. Herbs planted in here. Planting coming all the way behind and all the way in here. And to break up this so it doesn't look like a big ballroom, yeah. an area of lawn. Close mow, bowling green quality grass that you can sit out on and Ben can play yes. out on in Picnic. the centre. All flush through with the, the paving. Fantastic. Absolutely. It really extends it into another room of the house that you just want to come out and walk and sit. I think that's for the way you guys like to live. Absolutely. But go and try it. Go and sit inside and have a look. See what you think. See if the object of beauty is... Um... Such a beautiful <laughs> object that is, yeah. yeah. Now, just out of interest, which object of beauty are you looking at? Oh, you are. Oh. You're, you're going to cause offence to that's somebody. It. <laughs> That lovely chair in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really good. It just leads your eye straight out and across. Really yeah. wants you to sort of go and have a peek and see what else is there. So, yeah. wonderful. Can we build it? Okay. Yeah, work yeah. away. Very excited. Excited. Very excited, yeah. Challenging as well to kind of see what we, we can do with Colin mm. and Chris and, and the, the ideas that they come up with and we can work together to do that. We've been definitely trying to open their minds up to to, to other variations. The other variation is the exact opposite of what they asked for. Really looking forward to seeing it come together now. Absolutely. Let's have a bit of a recap, Chris. OK, well, we started by creating a simple, welcoming front garden, and then we moved in the back. The space here allows us to play with angles, design-wise, to draw the eye round and make the most of the total space. It feels a lot bigger. Even though it's actually a relatively small space, it's taken a lot to clear it. But now it's clear, we've got a design structure. Let's let the trusty Declan get on with building it and see what Carol and David make of an off-the-wall suggestion for planting style. OK, Chris, I've brought you to the tropical ravine here in Botanic which may seem a bit extreme, considering we're talking about contemporary gardens in Bangor. It's got everything that I believe they should see. The ambience, first of all, so tranquil. Yeah. It's something that I think we need the guys to experience. What do you make of being down here amongst the plants, underneath the canopy with the light filtering through? It's lovely, I think it's feels very protective, feel really sort of enclosed, but yes. nicely so. But this isn't at all what you started to describe when we sat down and talked about what we might be able to achieve. We've done an old trick and brought you to the exact opposite of what you're asking for, <laughs> just to really give it a, a good rattle to see. You described it being minimal, you described yeah. it being contemporary and chic. I feel it's actually quite private and intimate, yet you can still see the sky is still there as well, so there's the light coming through. Because that was an important yeah. point for you, mm -hmm. wasn't it? That, mm -hmm. that yeah. you didn't want to lose the sky, no. the openness. Yeah, but there's not a lot of colour no. in flowers here. And it's the, the abundance of green, that very verdant nature, that creates the sense of enclosure, mm. the sense of calm, the sense of intimacy, the fact you can reach out and you have to push the plants out of the way. That's, mm. that's all part 
of the character and the personality. And I think if we can achieve some of that in your garden, yeah. then we're on the right route. Mm. The purpose of taking them to the ravine was to just blow all the cobwebs away and give them something. Wow, we didn't think of anything like this. Well, there's no reason why you can't grow things like bananas in Bangor. <laughs> You know? Banana plants. <laughs> <laughs> That's fruits. slightly different. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a call. <laughs> I was surprised that, that they were so open to just how intense it was, because uh, quite frankly, I couldn't live in a space like that. It was middle of Belfast, busyness going around it, but yet was tranquil, calm, and that was to do with the planting, the colours, the... Um, the space that was created there, thinking, yeah, this is just nice. You can just go, Ooh. Much better to start off with a brilliant idea and then make it workable rather than start off with something that's half-baked and try and make it exciting. It just simply doesn't work that way. Looks like that worked, Chris. So far, so good. And back in the garden, Declan started to put the walls up and a timber framework to support the decking. Well, back from the jungle wilderness, we've managed to change any idea that you've had of a formal garden into a crazy leafy <laughs> environment but the boys have been busy here I think you really get a sense now of what it'll be like to come out on the same level I yes. think that's really interesting and yeah. you can see already that that'll be a really natural lead in and out of the house yeah. and if you cast your mind forward mm -hmm. to when the planting comes in and some high tree planting pleached trees which come across yeah. the top of the garage to break that severe skyline yeah. then you start to see the similarity between what you can achieve here and what we've just seen in the ravine. Wow. The other benefit in going to see it is that Colin and I would have just said, it's big, it's green and it's leafy. <laughs> <laughs> A lot, until you just said, great. Yeah, hey. Do you think Declan's noticed I've stopped working? No, he's in a joiner's trance, but come on, we need to get on with this. There's a surprising amount of work to do for such a small space. This is me getting on with it. I'll just get my surgeon's gloves on for hands to do dishes, or build decks, or finished raised beds. Another one of our new sayings, every home should have... Looks good. ...a Declan. But... Are you trying to come off a board in the house? It's not. It's got a line through. We'll, have, we'll, just, we'll have to do a slither. Because that looks awful from inside. Yep. But that's fine. We'll, we'll, we can put a, I'd rather see a slither there because the, the main focus will be here. And you won't be looking at that. So we'll just we'll slither that. Okay. Oh, for everyone else's benefit, what is a slither? I have no idea. I was just bluffing it. I know, I thought it would take a while to stall it. It's all the measurement. Do you know if, any that, man, it makes... if anything, that's going in a bit to your left or to my left side. Can you move your nose around that way a bit? No, I'll never get that. There, there you go. That's spot on. Where you have a space which has to be quite tactile, which is quite warm to step out onto, especially if you're stepping out barefoot in the summer, then decking or its substitutes can work really well. Decking is looking good, but we may have a wee problem. What, what space do you leave in? Space there. I think that's far, is That's perfect. Does that expand? Well, heat. Just this hang up on the street. You won't be you won't be whinging when you see the finished result. Oh, I know what the finished result is, but we still have to get there. I just thought you liked the challenge. Sometime this year. When well, you tell him, Dag. Alright, all, all, all man. Uh, I think it looks too wide. That's, no, that's not gonna work. Hmm? That's not gonna work. That's way, way too wide. Oops. That's it's just come reset. That's just, that's a ridiculous expansion joint. I mean, you, you'll lose all sorts of things down there, including your high heels. How do we do that? Do you have any high heel shoes on there? Certainly. Do you, do you, do you know where you're working high heel shoes? <laughs> 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 Don't think they're your size. We'll have to do a bit of a test here. What are you trying to do? See if it will fall through that hole. I'm more thinking what Ben would put through that wee hole. Well, well it's your call. Well, then I think we'll scrap the deck today and do the paving because that, that'll be a, a circus. We should only always yeah, you're right, you're right. I tell you, mm -hmm. you I tell you what, meal. can we get some, um, can we get some biscuits? We wouldn't biscuits? Yeah. It's obviously a technical term. 
Or no, not custard cream? Not, yeah, nice custard no, cream? Not. You just need like a three mil expansion. A bees wing. Yeah, two bees wings. Mm. Yeah. Double them up. A bees wings folded in half. <laughs> How quickly can we make the biscuits? Because we could, we can counter sink on the edge and then biscuit all the way through and okay. drill in at 45 degrees. So you only see... Five Fine, let's do that then. Anyway. I think it might just work. Good thinking, Batman. Biscuits all round. You tap that in. And then put that in. Yeah. And no screws through the top. But that's a much better solution. Yeah. Uh -huh. We should paint that. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Yeah. What, else, what else were you going to put on the dragon stem? Slither. A slither. <laughs> yeah. it, will it be called the bees wing the slither? Bees wing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make me some slithers then? So while Declan makes some slithers and biscuits, sounds more like a cooking program, but it's working. Tell you what though, it's held us up significantly. Need the crack on and get the gravel into those beds for drainage. If even we get the square laid, we're not going to get cuts. And it's it's oh, not getting done. What are the jobs that need doing? Fair enough. I okay. sense a bit of flapping going on. No, it's not. Well, let's see. Let's see. Come on. And I, <laughs> no, I don't. I, no, I don't. Let's see. Is the team I attitude? I thought. I thought he was being a big girl's blouse, going with the amount of work until I came today. <laughs> big girl's blouse. Ah, Declan. Really? I believe because I want to believe. It doesn't matter whether it's true or not. <laughs> Chris, give me a shout if you need your brow mopped. Okay. A bit of sweat appearing. You just, if there's any thinking to be done, it's over here. You were the one with the pretty gloves on earlier. Just get on with filling the beds. Yes, sir. The raised beds are taking a lot of filling with tons and tons of topsoil over the gravel. Can you give me a Tesco bag or something? Just to throw that into. Or any other bag would like that. <laughs> Other, other, bags other supermarket yeah. bags are available, that's right. Come back half an hour later and it's foamed out like an overflowing washing machine. I'm going to take a break and do some dressmaking with Carol. Right, using your dressmaking skills, <laughs> this will stop any soil running in under the, under the deck, which will okay. inevitably end up in the drains. Yeah. The soil that's going in here will allow the turf to grow in the centre of the deck. <laughs> we, we tried to get chintz, but the budget didn't stretch. <laughs> well, we did say contemporary. Yeah. Mm, you know, yeah. wouldn't be chintzy. Doing a good job there, Colin. Thank you very little. <laughs> Time for another recap, Chris. Well, after clearing the site, we could really see the design potential. Then we took Carol and David to the ravine for planting inspiration. Hey, and then I came up with that brilliant idea about slithers and biscuits for the composite decking. Modest as ever. Well, I did some dressmaking, filled beds, filled beds, and filled beds. Whinge, whinge, whinge. <laughs> Worth it though, look at it now. Beds all done and painted, deck finished, lovely cobbled paving down, David even painted the house and walls to match my favourite touch, the outside sofas. It's nice to see it now, it's all painted, isn't it? It makes such a difference, it kind of brings the whole space together, you know, that, having that unity of the paint just means you get, you get one image instead of lots of little fragments. Yeah. And the decking actually is working really well as well. Yeah. No, it just proves that, well, it proves that we know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, well, Some of the time, anyway. Somebody does. <laughs> We've done this before. <laughs> And then you've just got the planting to get in, which is, which, I mean, you remember back to the botanics when we were standing yeah. in, that, in that fernery, yeah. that's the feel that we're after. So we've got the, the structure and the plants will now start to develop that real kind of oasis feel about it. By the end of the day, mm. once the life goes into it, the plants, yeah. you're going to notice a big, big change. Should we get on with it? Yeah. Or should we just stand staring at it? I've got nice pink gardening gloves for you as well. Great, well. great, I'll need them. Are you going to bring me? And where are we going to? Yeah. School. Mwah. First day. Yeah. You've got your school uniform on, that's right. So Chris, while Ben goes off for his first day at school on a chilly day, you have us doing a fussy, fiddly job. Bet we're still here when Ben gets back. One of the great things about using limes in this pleached way, this sort of really hardcore trained way, is that they're so well behaved and they provide a green foil. Very One good. down, nine to go. Daddy, finished, finished. Maybe sometime. Do you want to come and help me? <laughs> Mummy, Dad, I'm all dirty. It is a little bit messy. 
So still here when Ben's back. At least he's back for the dancing. See if we can catch Colin up. <laughs> he's caught me. <laughs> that wasn't much. That's game, cheating. Was it? <laughs> you know that humid tropical feel that you get in the botanics. It's just like today. Exactly. Exactly like today. Which is why we've got the plants, which will create that same atmosphere. So dense planting with a very eclectic mix. There's plants here from all over the world. For instance, there's the, the musa here, which is um, one from the Japanese um, highlands, a banana. This goes up and up and up. Great big this long is the leaves. Banana plant you're this, about. Is, this is a wonderful <laughs> little banana plant. Right next to that is um, a plant from New Zealand. So there's New Zealand flax, the, um, the formiums, ah, yes. and then the date palm from the Canaries. So, I mean, all over the world, these plants are coming, but the basic principle is that they, they just spill over one another. And when you sit on the bench here, you feel as though they're wrapping you up. And within a couple of seasons, you will feel as though you're back in that, uh, that temperate house at the botanics. And when do we get our first banana fruit? Who knows? I mean, you, you know, there's plenty to look at before you get the bananas. But, you know, you can always have the neighbours on because just nip to the local supermarket, just wire a few bananas on and say, look, bananas. Hmm, bananas and banger. Has a nice ring to it, though. Is that a sceptic in the garden? Here's something that'll grow fine. Bit of turf. Wash down the new cobbles. Final touches to the planting. Not good for my fingernails. And then finally, washing off the walls. Where we're sitting now used to just be concrete. When we sat with Colin and Chris at the beginning, certainly couldn't have imagined that this is what we would have ended up with, but it, it very much fits all the needs that we talked about. Dave and Carol have really embraced what Chris and I have kind of chucked at them, because initially, what they were asking for is not what they got, but what they got, I think, is what they really want us. I think it will completely transform the way that they live and the way that the family unite, because they'll be able to share all of that space together. Both spaces are welcoming, they're exciting, and they're vibrant because there's life now in the garden and uh, they're just, they're just, you just want to be in them. This is the very satisfying bit. The garden's beautifully planted, it's lush, it's verdant, but the space is chic and contemporary. And yet at night time, when uh, you've got the outside light on, it's, it just seems part of that coziness. Even in this weather, you know, such colour and brightness and light and... You want to go out there even though it is raining? You do, Essentially. you do, yeah. <laughs> that old grey space outside has now become a place to grow up in, mm -hmm. and it, as a house and as a family. That's fantastic. And when you go back to work, in one word, how do you describe how you feel about the garden now? One word. One word from his heart, beyond wildest dreams. Is that three words? Is that sort of, that's a phrase, one phrase, is that okay? Well, do, we'll give you a phrase. Beyond wildest dreams, never imagined. <laughs> yeah, they're not bad at it what they do. It turns out they, they know yeah. what they're talking yeah. about, yeah.